Someone should blow TV week up. Oh, Dad, don't be so grumpy. This is fun, isn't it, Bruno? Oh, yeah. I haven't had so much fun since I got my tongue tangled in the electric toothbrush. <laughs> Why can't a bloke have proper food instead of all this tarry hooting around with this fancy handmade stuff? What is all this glomp anyway? Well, what number is it? Mm, 18. 18 is the Bernard King mystery whip. <laughs> You'd be right. Tastes like deodorant. <laughs> You've got to admit, Ted, also, it tastes better than the gulp a little chocolate prawn cocktail. <laughs> Fine time to run out of Eno's. Bloody woman, why have I got to be the guinea pig with all this celebrity glomp? So Mum can win the TV Week competition. Bloody competition, she's always entering them. How many fab lemons in a dozen? How many smarties does it take to fill the MCG? <laughs> How many wives has Mr Sheen had? <laughs> in 20 words or less, what's something different you can do with a cotton bud? <laughs> Wouldn't write down my answer. Look, will you stop your bitching so we can get this over and done with? Now, what's your vote on the Bernard King mystery whip? Same as all the others, nothing. <laughs> nothing? Well, I'll give it a plus five for presentation, uh, minus eight for texture, plus 12 for originality, and minus nine for appetite appeal. Well, what's that add up to? Oh, just, uh, nothing. <laughs> well, I'd better give her something. I'll give up half a point. What for? Versatility. <laughs> what do you mean? It stripped the varnish off the table. <laughs> Bloody one, chucking food around like a bros on trees. You should keep your ethnic munching for the squalor of your own house. <laughs> you don't need a serviette, you need a tarpaulin. At least my wife doesn't have to say, here comes the aeroplane. <laughs> Watch it, mate. Will you two stop your bickering? We promised we'd help Mum pick her competition recipe. Oh, I never promised. I promised for you. Now shut up. Now listen to me, girlie. <laughs> Don't you come the raw Helen ready with me. <laughs> all you liberated dames are the same, rushing all over the world with hair stuck under your arms, trying to look like men. We are not trying to look like men. It's natural. Rubbish. Proper women like your mother don't put hair under their arms. <laughs> That's because she shaves. <gasps> Great a bullpit, how dare you! Dad, all women grow hair under their arms. They don't. They, they do. do! What about the Queen? <laughs> yes, her too. The Queen has hair under her arms? Are you asking me to believe that the Queen, you are talking about Queen Elizabeth, aren't you? Yes. The Queen, our monarch, that gracious lady, has hairy armpits. I fought World War II for her. <laughs> Listen, number one, all women have hair under their arms. Number two, all queens have hair under their arms. <laughs> and number three, millions of men did not fight World War II over a pair of royal armpits. <laughs> now, can we get back to the voting? I don't know what's going on anymore. Women got hair all over the place, men using deodorants. No one of the country's in a mess. Dad, can we just get on with the voting? We should never have given them the vote either. They only got hairy since they got the vote. Can <laughs> I just read them out? Right. Well, the winner so far, who's miles ahead with a massive one point and a firm favourite, is the Mike Walsh Blue Rinse Potato Pie. <laughs> which tastes terrific if you close your eyes. Blue spuds, no wonder the country's in a mess. <laughs> Will you shut up about the country being in a mess? Spuds weren't meant to be blue. Yeah, and life wasn't meant to be easy either. I'll bet bloody Malcolm coined that phrase after meeting you. Here we are. The last one. Oh. What a shame. Bruno. I call that my piece of resistance. <laughs> what do you think? I give it nothing. You haven't tried it yet. You'd like it, Ted. It's meat. Doesn't look like a chop. It's not a chop. Huh. Told you so. I'm not stupid, see? <laughs> if it's not a chop, how can it be meat? It's a meat loaf, Ted. It looks terrific, Mum. I think we're looking at the winner, Mrs B. Uh, what's it called? At number 19, the Graham Kennedy meat loaf. <laughs> What's it made of, crow? <laughs> I made a joke. <laughs> You're feeling all right, dear. It's a joke, see? Graham Kennedy, crow. Get it? No. It's bloody funny, you idiot. What's funny about crows? Graham Kennedy and crows. What about them? He used to breed them on television. <laughs> he did not. Of course he did. How else do you think he got all those logies? <laughs> Let him get them from his jokes, that's for sure. I tell far better jokes than he ever does. Hmm. People are always calling me a big wit. <laughs>
<laughs> you sure it's wit? <laughs> what else could it be? I got a couple of suggestions. <laughs> Listen, mate, you want to hear a joke? I'll tell you a joke, right? Now stand by for laughing. The meat loaf's getting cold. It's only a short joke, won't take long. You don't tell short jokes, Tim. The last time you told a joke, the argument went on for days. <laughs> Quiet. Now here comes the funny stuff. Are you ready now? Here we go. Yeah, right. Up. I think I'll put the meatloaf back. No, nobody the touches the meatloaf. I'm telling a joke. Right. Now, my wife went to Jamaica. You mean the West Indies? No, she went of her own accord. Boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> Cold. You screwed it up again. I did not. It's bloody funny. Now laugh or I'll thump you. Dad, you got it wrong. It's meant to be. My wife went to the West Indies. Jamaica? No, she went of her own accord. See? <laughs> Quiet, woman, there's nothing funny about that. <laughs> you mucked it up, Miss Smarty Emu Face. <laughs> you left out boom boom, that's a funny bit. Hang on, hang on, I think I understand the problem. You don't know where Jamaica is, do you? Of course I know where Jamaica is. Where is it then? In the Atlas with all the other bloody countries. <laughs> I give up. Oh, well, that's a relief. We've all survived Ted's joke. Now, let's all try the meatloaf. No, I give it nothing. None for me. I'm going to see the dogs. They won't laugh either. <laughs> I'm going to feed them, spaghetti head. <laughs> right now, is the pal opened? Yes, Ted. The warmed up? Yes, Ted. Spuds, you got their spuds? Yes, Ted. Mashed, you mashed them? Yes, Ted. Peas, you got their peas? Yes, Ted. Plenty of Vegemite all over the bread? Yes, Ted. Right, I'll come back for their dessert later. <laughs> Bruno? Yes, Ted. I think I know why Ted's joke didn't work. Why? He forgot to say, knock, knock. <laughs> Hello. I always insist on insulable bats. Because <laughs> there ain't a better bat than an insulable bat. And that's that. <laughs> I win the trail bike of my dreams. <laughs> what? Uh, 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 no, no. Bull pit. <laughs> yes, everyone says that. <laughs> what? Ted, oh. I've won! Oh. Kill me, grandmother! What have you won? Oh, just a minute. What have I won? Oh, oh. The, the, the TV Week Celebrity Recipe Contest. How much do I get? Oh, how much does Ted get? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Why bloody not? Why bloody not? <laughs> oh, I am terribly sorry. Yes. Oh, what is the prize? Really? Oh. Yes. Oh, y yes, that'll be fine. Thank you. Well, what do we get, woman? We get Graham Kennedy for dinner. <laughs> he buys the grog. <laughs> oh, Ted. He's coming here for my meatloaf. Can't we just post it to him? <laughs> What's that? An ice bucket. What for? For Graham's drink. It's a bloody big drink, isn't it? <laughs> Not going to fill that up. I hope he brings some grog. For the ice. Haven't you got any booze in? Of course I have. Plenty of beer in the fridge. What about wine? Poof to drink. <laughs> Don't catch me drinking any of that stuff. For him, he's probably like ordinary people, enjoys a glass of wine. That'd be right. Freeloading celebrity plonko from Melbourne. <laughs> God, you're useless. I'll get it. Give me your keys. The Kingswood? You're not taking the Kingswood. I just missed a sheen the roof rack. <laughs> no. You're not taking the Kingswood anywhere. You hit things. I don't. You do. Look at that purple wog wagon of yours. Dings all over it. Not like me. 30 years of motoring and not one prang. What about the prangs you've caused? Listen, mate. <laughs> I'm the safest driver in Australia. Probably the world. How come? I drive on Shell. What's Shell got to do with it's it? It's a safe petrol, not like that leirising Amoco jungle juice that you drive on. <laughs> Bloody final filter sucks all the safety out. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
you'd know. Too right I know. I know lots of things. Come on, follow me. Where are we going? We're going to the plonk shop. And you get in the back seat and keep your head down when we pass the RSL. <laughs> Do, do I look all right? I mean, do you like the dress? Yes, Mum. You don't think it's too sexy? <laughs> sexy isn't the word I'd use. <laughs> I didn't even get it on special, Greta. It's a real dress. Oh, good, Mum. <laughs> Listen, uh, where's the dog's plate? There! Sculptured mashed potato and parsley for the dogs as well? <laughs> I had some left over. And after all, it is a big night for all of us. <laughs> <laughs> Mum, isn't it time you warmed it up? Oh, gracious, Greta. You're a lifesaver. <laughs> oh, Ted, oh, about time you got that. Someone should blow Germany up. Not the idea. There is no time for exploding Germany. Maybe next week. What happened? Well, good old Ted. He's lying. This is what happened. I was parked outside the pub, minding my own business, when suddenly this bloody great Mercedes smashes into the back of me. Ball! It was parked. You reversed into it. <laughs> Did not. It rammed me. How could it ram you? There was no one in it. Remote control. <laughs> Damn cunning, the Bosch. You broke the law. You left the scene of the accident. Of course I left the scene. No kamikaze crouch getting my no-claim bonus. Oh, see, there wasn't much damage. Of course there was. There was tons of it. What? The Hun headlight slashed the tennis ball on the tow bar. <laughs> Calm down, woman. Well, maybe he's lost. How can anyone get lost in Wombat Crescent? There's only one way in. <laughs> you did tell him we're the only house with spotlights on the concrete Aboriginal. Yes. <laughs> better hurry up or you'll miss out. Ted, have some respect. He is the biggest star in Australia. Star? Huh. Means nothing to me, Thelma. He's just a normal bloke as far as I'm concerned and will be treated as such. Oh. So bugger him. <laughs> Me grandmother! It's the door! There's a star outside! Answer the door, woman, will you quit? No, don't answer it! I paid for it, it's my door, I'll answer it! Oh. Oh. Come in! Mr. Bullpen? Uh, uh, it's uh, uh, Ted. Uh, call me Ted, uh, sir. Uh, oh, uh, uh, the... <laughs> yeah. That's me. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, you must be Mrs. Bullpen. Yeah. How do you do, Mr. Kennedy? <laughs> Graham, and there for you. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry I'm late, but some idiot smashed into my Mercedes. <laughs> Is that a fact? <laughs> How terrible! Was there much damage? Oh, a bit. Smashed the headlights, bent the grill, knocked all the logies off the bumper bar. <laughs> I'd love to know who did it. Haven't seen any Sigley around here, have you? <laughs> well, I wouldn't know anything about it, but it seems to me you must have rammed it up the back of some innocent bystanding king's car. <laughs> no, no, mine's the king's car. <laughs> and it was parked. I wasn't even in it. The other one was just some crummy old Kingswood. That's what happens when you leave it parked in the street. Yes, silly me, fancy leaving the car parked in the street. <laughs> Should have parked it up in a tree somewhere, shouldn't I? <laughs> it's only a Mercedes. Yes, really doesn't matter. Wasn't properly run in anyway. The radio was still picking up German stations. <laughs> No, what I meant was, sir, to you, it's only a Mercedes. I mean, you must have tons of them. Oh, I do. Ted, hundreds of them. Yes. Oh, there's nothing I like better than wrecking a brand new $55,000 motor car. <laughs> Why, some mornings I just can't seem to face the day without going out and chucking one over the gap. <laughs> it's the old ticker going. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Would you like to sit down, Oh, I'd love to. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mrs. Bullpit. Oh. <laughs> Ted, why don't you 
Get Graham a drink. Oh, all right, Phil. Yes, Graham, would you care for a drink over there on the couch? <laughs> I'm quite happy here. Just a beer, thanks, Ted. A beer? I just paid 40 bucks for Plonk. What was that? Uh, no, nothing, nothing. I'll kill that bloody war. <laughs> I must say, I must say, Mrs. Bullpit, this is a very lovely house. Thelma. Well, this is a very lovely Thelma. <laughs> call your house Thelma? No, no. No, that, that's my name, Thelma. Right. We call our house Brick Veneer. <laughs> well, here we are. Two beers. Thanks, Ted. Uh, one of them's mine, uh, the big one. Right, here we are. That's a very nice chair. Yes. I myself would strongly recommend that you would like it better here over on the couch where it's much more comfortable. <laughs> oh, well, you stay there if you're comfortable, Ted. <laughs> I don't want to be a nuisance. That's not what I meant. Cheers. <laughs> Righto. <laughs> hmm. Well, we better drink this up and so we can get dinner over and done with, so we can watch the Sullivans. <laughs> Why? I'm not in it. <laughs> Well, you should be. It's a very good show. It's all about war. I like war. Yes, I thought you might, Ted. <laughs> well, Thelma, I must tell you, I'm terribly excited about your fabulous meatloaf. I'm dying to try it. Why, ever since TV Week told me about it, I've been uncontrollable. I can get it for you now, oh. if you'd like to move across. Oh, no, 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 Thelma, I'll, I'll get it. Oh, Ted. No, no, Thelma, I insist this is your night. <laughs> right, Graham? Right, Ted. <laughs> I want you, Jeff. Ted, the meatloaf's look, in look, the... Look, I'll find it. Oh, well, the gravy's there. Just no, pour no, the gravy over. Don't worry, Thelma. Now, Thelma, may I escort you to the dining room table? Oh, oh, isn't this posh? <laughs> <laughs> Bloody woman, we... Ah. Ah. Yes. Now, gravy, gravy, gra Ah, yeah, gravy. Yeah. 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 There we are, the most amazing meatloaf in the world. Oh, doesn't it look good? Remember, Graham, you can have as much as you like. Oh, Elmer, I'm, I'm really touched that you honour me like this by naming the meatloaf after me. I'm sure I'll never forget it. Oh. <laughs> I, I just hope that you like it. Oh, I'm sure I will. Oh, yeah. oh. oh, and it smells quite... <laughs> Quite strong. Well, there we are. Oh, and one for Ted. Oh, Ted. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Aren't you having any, though? Oh, not, not, not just now. It's just I, I, I feel a bit, bit nervy, you know. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> Well, may I do the honours? Oh, please. Well, here we go. I christen this meatloaf the Graham Kennedy Meatloaf. <laughs> Wasn't me.
wasn't my fault. Tasted all right to me. <laughs> I have never been so embarrassed in my entire life. I didn't know it was dog food. <laughs> I'd never be able to look another television set in the face. Well, here we are, my favourite supper, cheese on toast. Not as good as your original meatloaf. God rest its soul. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, Thelma, don't be. It was just a silly, stupid, idiotic mistake. <laughs> Made by a silly, stupid, idiotic <laughs> who's lost his no-claim bonus <laughs> for five years. Oh, I am so embarrassed. Oh, well, don't be, Thelma. We ate a little dog food, so what? That's not going to do anybody any harm, is it? 